The equation that we want to graph here is in slope intercept form because it, it can be written as y equals some coefficient times x plus some number. In this case, it would be like a negative 2. Um, the m in this represents slope, and the b is the y-intercept. Therefore, this has a slope of 1 over 4 and a y-intercept of negative 2. We can then graph it starting with our y-intercept. So that means that the graph crosses the y-axis at negative 2. So I'm going to go ahead and put a dot there. Then it has a slope of 1 over 4, meaning a rise of 1 every time it runs or goes forward 4. So therefore, to find additional points, I'm going to take start from my y-intercept, and I'm going to go up 1 and over 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm going to put another point there. Now, I can't fit any more points going uh, to the to the right and up. So what I'm going to do is go in the other direction. And you'll note that 1 fourth is exactly the same thing as negative 1 over negative 4. So therefore, I can also go down 1 and back 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's also going to be on the same line. So what I now have are three points that graphically represent solutions to this equation. For example, if I put negative 4 in for x, 1 fourth times negative 4 is equal to negative 1. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. And look, the y value of this point is negative 3. That's going to be true for each of these points. The x and y values give solutions to the equation, values which make it true. And not only these three points, but every single point on the line that in which they are contained. So what I can do is I can put a line that goes through each of those points, and all of the points on that line are going to be solutions. Now, it's a rather thick line, but hopefully you get the idea. It just goes through each of the points, and, and all of the individual points which lie on those lines are going to be solutions to my original equation. Thank you.